Looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Raiders going up against the Ravens. With that, let's get you on up to Baltimore as we welcome in our commentary team, Brandon Guy and Charles Davis. Larry, thanks. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor at MT Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we've got a good AFC matchup on tap between the Oakland Raiders and the Baltimore Ravens. Hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we saw Larry focus on the tight end matchup in his open. You think it's one to watch, don't you? Definitely one to watch because these guys can create such big plays by all the different things they can do. Line up out wide in the slot line up in a normal tight end position and then who are you going to cover them with is it a linebacker a defensive back they create mismatches all throughout the game it's the first weekend of autumn and the nfl is in full swing as off we go on ea sports this is fielded a couple yards deep <laughs> And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. This Ravens offense will be led by Joe Flacco, the quarterback. And he had a comeback against the Browns. They got down 20 to nothing in that game in Week 2. Came back, scored the next 25 points, got the victory. And he always carries himself with a real air of cool. You know, nothing really ruffles him. But boy, did he heat up in this one. That big-time comeback on his right arm, Joe Flacco got it done. Over 300 yards. Did have two picks, but two touchdowns as well. First carry for Justin Forsen. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Time to meet the offensive starters, and time for us to introduce you. You already know him, but Justin Forsett. His pace goes on the poster of those who just need an opportunity. A backup for much of his career, once he received the chance to be a number one runner, he's taken it and moved on fast. Let's see what the offense comes with here, second and eight. They stay on the ground, four set again. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. I know we always worry about when a running back is over the age of 30. But Justin Forsett didn't have a lot of carries prior to two seasons ago. And last year, you remember, of course, he missed six games with a broken arm. Of course, the Ravens, they had a litany of injuries in 2015. They missed his 1,266 yards he gave them in 2014. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. But we're back to Baltimore after this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football. They've got a third down and a yard to start things out. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. A dime look defensively for the Raiders on third down. Yeah, you're right. Two extra DBs out there. Third and just one. It's Flacco. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Hey, 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 three, 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 three. 
Throwing here on first down. Flacco. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And by the way, we should probably give a congratulations to the Minnesota Vikings just opening a new stadium, U.S. Bank Stadium, and they christened it with a three-point victory. And it was so great to look up and see all the old Vikings at the game and the fans enjoying it. That was fantastic. But how about Sam Bradford? The big move, the big trade, his first start, and it pays off in a huge way. He and Stephon Diggs have already made a big-time connection. And hauled in by Pitta. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. And now it's a third and four situation for the offense. Over, ready, ready. And again, it's Flacco to throw. The open man is Smith. And he's taken down at the 43, but now the fourth picking up the first. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. And here comes play number six on this drive. First and ten here for Flacco. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second down to the offense, needing five yards. Hey, move. Under, under, under. Flacco will take to the air again, surveying the field. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This from 54 yards away. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back now at the scoreless first half. It's a 0-0 game at half, so both sides obviously love their defense and hate their offense. Moving forward, we'll just have to see if it's the first to score that wins. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. So that'll do it from here in Orlando. No points in this one yet, but we'll hand it back over to a man who's always on point. That's Brandon Guy.
So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Second half starts with a run by Murray. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Again, it's Murray. And this time, not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. So both teams scoreless here as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Well, time not on their side here. In fact, a lot going against them. They do have a small glimmer of hope. No one likes to play extra football. They want to go for the win right now. <laughs> to throw his car. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Fresh set of downs here. He's got time in the pocket. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. throw car he's got time he's going to air one out and got his man complete give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion now whistles come in we're going to get a timeout here by the offense that'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play so the offense took the timeout looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Oh, 
to the offense lining up first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. All right, here we go. Wide and eight, set, wide and eight. They go with Murray again. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So now this thing's... And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So now this thing's coming down to the big left leg of Sebastian Janikowski. This from 52, and this for the win. And off the crossbar, and it bounces over. It is good. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.